Hey everybody, welcome to How's the Market, our weekly series in conjunction with Keeping Current Matters, which will help inform you on housing market conditions and expert projections. Our mission is to give you factual information so you can make the best decisions for you and your family and your future. It's all about educating you. So today's article is going to be about five tips to start your home search. We don't know where to start sometimes. So these five tips are gonna be essential with making your home search successful from the get-go. So the first tip is to get pre-approved for a mortgage before you start your search. This is essential because then you'll understand what your monthly payment will be and you look like a serious buyer and if you're in a competitive market, you're going to need a pre-approval letter for any home that you buy. The second tip is know the difference between your must-haves and your would-like-to-haves. I know that when I was looking, well, I still am looking for a home, I have my must-haves and I have my would-like-to-haves. And I listed everything out because then you have a very clear picture on what's truly important to you and what is not so important to you, but you would like to have it. So make sure you really are detailed with that list. We have a great home finder worksheet that we can send you for free that will list out all the different parts of a home and you can really see what's least important to you versus what's most important. The third tip is research and choose the neighborhood where you want to live. Yes, look to know where the school district, your amenities, the commute, spend the weekend exploring this new neighborhood, go out to eat, See if you really love that neighborhood and really feel like it could be your next home. Even test drive the area in the morning, in the evening. Yes, stalk your new neighborhood. <laughs> Number four, pick a house style that you love and stick to it. There's a bunch of different home styles. For example, if you have two or three children, maybe a Cape Cod isn't the right style because the bedrooms are on different floors maybe a ranch style or a colonial, and stick to that because then you'll really narrow down your search a little bit more. And the fifth tip is document your home visits. Once you start looking for homes, they're gonna become a big blur. You're gonna forget what had what kitchen, yard, and it's just gonna, gonna look very blurry for you. So you wanna make sure they are taking notes I love the app Evernote. You can take a bunch of notes about your property. You can take pictures and it'll help you remember what properties that you liked and which ones that you didn't like.